Thank you all for staying focused and uh, engaged for our enterprise AI solutions. To quickly recap, today we have shared our belief that the hybrid AI defines the future. We have showcased our innovation in personal AI and uh, enterprise AI. And most importantly, we have re reaffirmed our vision of uh, smarter AI for all. And we have a very important partner who works with us to make this all happen. Let's welcome CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang. Yes, uh, welcome to uh, Lenovo Tech World. Uh, Thank you. It's great to be here. So <clears throat> we talked about the hybrid AI at our last uh, Tech World. Yeah. Uh, so since then. Uh, We've been working hard. Yeah, so both companies have made a lot of pro progress. So uh, definitely uh, our audience want to uh, listen to you. Uh, what's the next step of the hybrid AI? And what's the, the customer's adoption? Yeah. Well, for, first of all, you, you know, it's great to be here and to uh, celebrate and to um, announce great new initiatives with our partner, Lenovo. Uh, YY and I have known each other for a very, very long time, since we were children, practically. <laughs> and, oh, that, uh, that because, <laughs> But uh, well, at least the 20, 30 years ago. <laughs> 20 years ago, we were children. <laughs> and, <laughs> and <laughs> we're still young. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, uh, as, you know, as you know, we went through several computing revolutions together, starting with the PC revolution and the internet revolution and the mobile cloud revolution. Okay. And now uh, we're reinventing computing for the very first time in the largest of possible ways. We're reinventing the entire stack. What used to be coding is now machine learning. Mm -hmm. And coding was designed to run on CPUs. And machine learning is designed to run on GPUs. And what's amazing is that coding created software, which yeah. drove an enormous industry. But now, machine learning is creating artificial intelligence. Yeah, machine can do the coding. <laughs> machine can do the coding. Yeah. This is going to be the largest of industrial revolutions we've ever seen. And we're, we're seeing, of course, in the last uh, 12, 12 months or so, uh, just an extraordinary awakening in every single industry, uh, every single company, every single country, recognizing that their digital intelligence, their data could be codified, transformed mm -hmm. into their company, their country, or their industry's uh, digital intelligence. And of course, one of the things that, that happened, and uh, I understand that Mark, uh, Mark Zuckerberg was, uh, uh, was talking earlier, Llama 3 is completely game-changing. Yes. Because of Llama 3, every single company can now engage AI. Yeah. If only they had the necessary uh, infrastructure, the necessary stack. And so starting with, of course, uh, the AI computers, the AI infrastructure, but also very importantly, the software stack, so that we can turn the models into artificial intelligence. Remember, artificial intelligence is related to models. You need large language models. You need very sophisticated large language models and technologies. But large language models is an element of artificial intelligence. And so the announcements that I just saw earlier um, uh, is all about that. The entire stack that we're working on together as a company as partners is to create the infrastructure, the necessary software stacks, mm. and then the necessary um, best practices and blueprints mm. so that you could turn these large language models into artificial intelligence agents that help you do work. So what, what's, uh, what's your view on the uh, agentic uh, AI as well as the physical AI? Well, agentic AI, agentic AI uh, speaking of, of, of uh, artificial intelligence, yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, and uh, we would like to produce million of these. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can uh, no, I'm sorry, everywhere. I, meant, I, I, I missed I'm, uh, billions of these. Yeah. And, and uh, little TJs, they, at NVIDIA they're called Toy Jensen's. They're gonna run around and help you do things. So whatever you, whatever you need done, uh, your, your wish is my command. Hmm. And, and so uh, in, the, 
artificial intelligence in its most general form, in its most general form, is basically robotic. Mm. There's going to be digital robots. Mm. We call them agents. They have the ability to uh, understand your instructions, understand the meaning of your instructions, mm. break down your uh, action, break it down into actions, mm. use tools, retrieve proprietary information or whatever information it has access to, mm. and perform the task and take action uh, if necessary. And so the perceive, reasoning, and act, that fundamental loop is the loop of robotics. And so we're going to have information robots. We call them agents. We're also going to have physical robots mm -hmm. called robots. Yeah. And these physical robots are essentially AIs that understand the physical world. And then we have agents that understand the information world. These two artificial intelligence, agent AIs and physical AIs, will be the underpinnings of the world's industries. We're going to have AI co-workers, AI workers that are good at marketing or, in our company, chip design, software coding, verification. We're building agents to help us with supply chain management. And these agents work with all of our employees so that we could be a lot more productive. We would like to achieve, essentially, superhuman productivity. Isn't yeah, that right? Definitely. And so all of, our, all of our employees are supported by these agents in time so that we could be a lot more productive. And then we're going to do the same. And this is the largest opportunity of all is industrial AI. And that has to do with robotics, and uh, we're partnering with Lenovo across this entire spectrum. Yeah. So I definitely see the same trend with the agentic AI uh, as well as the physical AI. So to cap capture this opportunity, Lenovo and uh, NVIDIA have a big announcement to make today. So Lenovo hybrid AI advantage with NVIDIA. This is an end-to-end AI platform for developing and de deploying AI in the new era. So it starts with our industry-leading infrastructure, including AI devices, AI servers, storage, as well as the edge computing, public uh, cloud, private cloud, so where enterprise data are stored, cleansed, and uh, organized. So data, algorithms, and uh, accelerated uh, computing power together make AI to happen in enterprises to optimize uh, processes, make better decisions, improve uh, productivity. And throughout all these elements, services perform an important role to do life cycle management for infrastructure, from design, deployment, to scaling and maintenance. Also to improve data analytics and uh, governance to advise and fine-tune AI models, and uh, to broaden AI software ecosystem for customers. So we also provide the Lenovo AI service library on top of this AI factory concept. Our strategy is to combine uh, modularization uh, with the customization so that we can respond quickly to customer needs while tailoring our solutions for them. So all layers together form a complete set of Lenovo hybrid AI advantage with NVIDIA. So definitely, so we are working with you uh, to make hybrid AI advantage more mature and uh, sophisticated. So Jason, would you like to talk more about uh, how NVIDIA technology contributed to this uh, you, uh, platform? You know, why, why the, the um the stack of PC, when you and I first met, it was during the PC revolution. Yes. There was a uh, CPU, yeah. there was an uh, operating system, yeah. and then there was the application. Yeah. And of course, that model of computing was revolutionary. But by comparison to today, it's so sim simple. You know, artificial intelligence took a very long time for the industry to create because it's incredibly complicated. Yeah. What's inside it, the entire stack, includes a computing infrastructure that is really a supercomputer. And it's running algorithms and distributed computing over a computing fabric that includes 
NVLink switch, InfiniBand, or Spectrum X networking. This distributed computing capability is captured and made possible and efficient using very sophisticated software. Yes. And so that's the computer. But what's above it is large language models, mm -hmm. which is maybe the new operating system of the, the yeah. artificial intelligence world. And on top of the large language models are many other libraries. These libraries, the simplistic way of thinking about that is kind of like onboarding and helping a new AI coworker. It's an AI worker, yeah. and it performs tasks. And so you create uh, data to fine tune and onboard the AI, you uh, AI agent. You, um, uh, of course, teach it very specific skills. You give it access to information that they should have access to to perform their job. You evaluate them like we you know, evaluate employees. You deploy them. You guardrail them. You safeguard them. You guardrail them so that, so that the functionality they perform is very specific to the functionali functionality uh, they were taught to, to perform. And that flywheel yes. allows uh, the uh, AI agent to get better and better over time. This entire suite of libraries is all completely accelerated. It all runs on GPUs. And it makes it possible for every company to be able to onboard large language models, turn them into your own AI agent to perform special tasks uh, that you would like to have. Customer service, retrieval of AI uh, database, many different types of applications. Yeah, so NVIDIA is definitely bringing a lot of value to this platform in all layers. Uh, and to achieve uh, customers' uh, IR goal, uh, so they're not only expecting more uh, powerful uh, accelerated, uh, accelerated computing, uh, but also trying to achieve energy efficiency goals. So how can NVIDIA help uh, satisfy uh, this kind of uh, needs for, for the customers? During, during the early stages of a new computer revolution, the best thing you can do is accelerate your roadmap. And the reason for that is this. When the performance can be improved by a factor of two or three X, X factors every single year, we can effectively drive the cost down of AI, drive down the energy workload, energy used of AI, but also increase the revenue generation capability of AI. Remember, these new computers are effectively factories. Unlike old data centers that hold files, these data centers are AI factories that generate tokens. And you would like the token generation rate. These tokens are essentially artificial intelligence. Yes. These token generation rate, you want to be as high as possible. And so if we can double or triple every single year, we are driving down your cost or increasing your revenues every single year. So this is a really, really important thing. We have the ability, because we build the entire AI factory end to end, hmm. from CPU to GPU, NVLink switch, InfiniBand switch, networking chips, Ethernet uh, switches and networking, we have the ability to build the entire data center and AI factory end to end, and we have the ability to build the software end to end, yes. from top to bottom. And so as a result, we can deliver a new AI factory every single year, doubling the performance or yeah. reducing the cost every single year so that we can drive and democratize artificial intelligence as fast as we can. Yeah, so it's similar to, to us. So, we, so all our R&D team have the uh, mission uh, designed right. for the sustainability. That's right. Every new and generation why, why right the, now, speed uh, is yeah. sustainability. Yes. Speed is performance. Speed is energy efficiency. Yeah, so definitely NVIDIA has done a great job on uh, uh, <coughs> sustainability. And the Lenovo also brings a, a, a core technology uh, to the table. Uh, so our uh, decade of leadership in liquid cooling uh, technology with the Neptune, now it's uh, sixth uh, generation. Uh, so now uh, let's showcase a product uh, which uses Neptune. So may I invite you to unveil it together? Yes. <laughs>
Ready? <laughs> All right. Look at that. Let's take a picture. <laughs> you know, you know why? Why? All of those years of Lenovo building supercomputers paid off. Yes. Isn't that right? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So we have worked on the water cooling for more than 10 years. So this is the sync system SC triple uh, seven designed by Lenovo, featuring NVIDIA Grass Blackwell GB two hundred. So it's a hundred percent liquid cooled. No need for a single fan or specialized data center air conditioning. Uh, so this system uh, fitting a standard rack uh, runs on standard power, so customers can buy as little as. Uh, uh, one tray uh, at a time. Uh, it also includes NVIDIA NVLink uh, interconnect, interconnect and support the NVIDIA networking and the NVIDIA AI enterprise software. So what's your thought on that? <laughs> I, tell me this isn't beautiful. This is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To, to, a, to an engineer, this is, this is sexy. <laughs> so thank you, Jensen for our great uh, uh, engineering partner, partnership. So be, besides our collaboration on enterprise data center, uh, so we have also partnered on vehicle computing with the NVIDIA Drive AGX SOAR platform, featuring the new Blackwell architecture. So let's showcase Lenovo's uh, smarter and more powerful AI computing ECU together with Jensen. You know, why, why, you know what's, what's amazing is this. So this computer and that computer has the exact same architecture. Yes. But that everywhere. computer is designed to create the brain that runs in this computer. Oh. <laughs> and because the car is the world's highest volume robot. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It Robots on the, on the wheel. <laughs> perceive the world, reason about what to do, and takes action on the steering wheel, just like a robot. Yeah. And so this is, this is going to be the first generation of the most highest volume robot in the world. But in the future, we're going to have robotic systems of all different kinds. And this particular computer could be used for all of that. So yeah. very exciting. Thank, Thank you. you. And a uh, final, final thought. Final I'll thought. <laughs> final thought. Uh. I think, go Lenovo. <laughs> So we are so excited to partner with uh, NVIDIA. Yes, thank, thank you, you, thank you, Jason. Thank you, Huawei. Well, thank you. Join me. Yeah, thank uh, you, everybody. Second year.